My friend, who was the one involved in the story, this incident happened to a friend of mine, had another encounter this past Easter long weekend, and was wondering if she can share her story. She even pointed out specifically for some reasons that she was coincidentally wearing the same outfit as the last encounter. Sleeveless white tank top, blue jeans, and red running shoes. This happened this past Easter long weekend, and I wanted to share it now while it's still fresh in my head. It was Saturday, and I decided that rather than stay home all day and do nothing, I wanted to go to my local mall and spend pretty much the whole day there. I decided to walk there as the mall is pretty close to my house. When I first went inside the mall, I saw a man who looked to be more than twice my age with a long beard and wearing a flannel shirt, looking at me. I didn't think too much of it at the time. I would then have two more encounters with him during my stay at the mall. The first time was when I was eating at the food court, and again, he was looking at me. But unlike last time, I was starting to get a bit weirded out, but not too worried as we were in a public place with a fair amount of security throughout the mall. Unfortunately, crime was pretty common where I live. My last encounter was when I was at a clothing store, spotting a jacket that interested me. Before I could try it on, however, there he was, again, just outside the store, looking at me with next to no expression or emotion. At that point, I was not weirded out, but creeped out now. So I left the store and decided to call it a day. Before I left the mall, I saw a few of my friends from high school, and we talked about what's been going on in our lives since we graduated. And during that, I forgot all about the stranger. As I was walking back home at around 8 p.m., I had my guard down since I still forgot about the man. On one side of the street where I was walking, there are houses, and on the other side, there are woods. The wood side was where I heard noises coming from the nearby bushes. I thought that maybe it was just some wildlife living in those woods, like deer or squirrels or even raccoons. But I was wrong. Because from the bushes, out came the man I encountered at the mall. He charged toward me and aimed a pistol at me. He then said swiftly, Put your hands above your head where I can see them. As if he were a cop. I did as I was told, and then he patted around my pants and pulled out my wallet and cell phone. Then he quickly walked away as fast as he could down the road, which was a pretty dumb idea as anyone living in nearby houses could have seen the encounter. Now, like most robbery mugging victims, they would just suck it up and report to the police. However, given my karate background, I thought I could take down the guy myself. Since my dad owned guns in the past, he also taught me how to tell if a gun was real or fake to intimidate its targets. So I took my chances and snuck up on him as quiet as possible, which was pretty easy as he was not running to begin with. I then tackled him from behind, putting him in a lock with my legs and then repeatedly punching him in the face until I was sure he was too weak to get back up. I then wasted no time in getting my possessions back before making a run for it. I took a few detours in an attempt to shake off the guy in case he somehow recovered. I never looked back, the whole time. I then hid behind a neighbor's bush and waited for around 10 minutes before finally making it back to my home. I slammed the door behind me, standing there leaning against the door, taking in what I just went through. I subsequently called the police about the encounter, and they visited the crime scene, but the guy was already gone, though there's been traces of blood found on the ground, so the authorities tested it for DNA. There hasn't been an update since. <laughs>